guys welcome to another episode of the prediction show today i take a look at game week 18 one of the many many game weeks that we have this december and holiday time just game weeks just keep on coming thick and fast uh this weekend we have nine games since um liverpool are away in qatar playing the club world cup they just reached the final by the way they're gonna play flamingo on saturday i think and uh yeah good luck to them um so their game against West Ham is gonna be postponed or it's already postponed that it's gonna be played on a in a later date. So I'm gonna take a look at uh, the the nine games that you're gonna have. A couple of interesting games. First Manchester City against Leicester. Manchester City third in the table, Leicester second in the table. Both teams will be looking to close the gap against um at the gap to Liverpool, sorry. And uh both teams will be looking for a win and uh, just to put the pressure on Liverpool. Any team that loses here, if Manchester City loses, I guess it's just curtains on them. It's it's almost already curtains, yes, but you, you never know. A team can lose four games and Manchester City is very capable of winning 15 games in a row. So it's going to be quite interesting. For Leicester, if they win this, it's only seven points behind. And... The, ne the next game is against Liverpool. Imagine if they beat Man City and they beat Liverpool. It's going to be four points behind Liverpool. Although Liverpool is going to have a game in hand, four points is closer than 10 points or 14 points or anything like that. Yeah. The second game is going to be Everton against Arsenal. Both teams just appointed uh, or about to appoint new managers. Uh, not both, of, both of them maybe are going to be in the stands for the games, not quite in the dugout yet, but... I'm sure both of them are going to be in charge for the next games uh, on Boxing Day. So, interesting game. So, I'm going to get into the predictions. The first game is going to be Everton against Arsenal. Um, as I've said, both teams about to appoint new managers. Both teams had uh, caretaker managers. Everton really did have a managerial bounce. They've been playing with fight. They had the most tackles in Premier League history in one of the games. But not quite for us. Uh, Yumba got his first win and only win against um, West Ham away, but lost to Brighton, got trashed by Manchester City, scraped a draw against Standard Liège, scraped a draw against Norwich, so let's just say it hasn't been good. So for this game, depending, it really depends on Arsenal's lineup really. Everton have a lot of injuries, yes, but... Their fight, it doesn't even really matter if they play 18-year-olds. Their fight and the passion that Duncan Ferguson have a real Evertonian. I mean, I don't see us winning there. So I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. The second game on Saturday is going to be Bournemouth and Burnley. Uh, Burnley is a really funny team. They would lose 3-0 this week and go away next week and win 4-0. Really up and down team, just like Bournemouth. Bournemouth were on the one of their worst runs of games and uh, number of defeats in the last past few weeks, but went away to Chelsea and got a win in the like 86th minute. So uh, also Wilson is injured. I think both Wilsons are injured. Burnley almost full strength, I think. So I'm gonna go for a Burnley win. Burnley to win two one. The third game is gonna be Newcastle and Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, one of the best defensive sides in the Premier League, I, I think. Um, they are the second best defensive team after Leicester in terms of clean sheets. I think they've kept six and Leicester have kept seven. The, the attack is really, really poor. They only depend on Zaha, and if Zaha doesn't do anything, they don't score goals. So it's quite worrying for Roy Hogson, but as we always say, if you don't score, don't get scored. So... If they go with that saying, I think they'll finish in the top 10, probably. Newcastle, Shelby has been scoring goals. I think he missed the last game because of an injury. Carroll has been playing well. Uh, St. Maxine has been playing well, but I think he's also injured. So since it's at Newcastle's place, if it was at Crystal Palace, I would have gone for a Crystal Palace win. But at Newcastle, I'm gonna for I'm gonna go for a draw, probably a nil nil. But I don't wanna be boring, so I'm gonna go for a one one draw in that game. The fourth game is Brighton against Sheffield. 
two teams that have really surprised us this season. Sheffield just got promoted, but the way they are playing, the way they are keeping clean sheets, the way they are scoring goals, Fleck, Landstrom, FBL managers will know how good Landstrom is. And um, the defenders, Stevens, all those guys, man, they are so, so good. And uh, Brighton also scoring goals. Imagine Brighton scoring goals. There's been a real transition from the last manager, Chris Hutton. The new manager has brought a different style of play. The Mopes, the Gross, the Trossards are playing really different kind of football and scoring goals. So it's going to be an interesting game. I'm going to go for a 1-1 during this one. The fifth game is going to be Norwich against Wolves. Uh, Norwich against Wolves. Mm, Norwich been really poor. Since they beat Manchester City, they've been really poor, I think. The only point or good game they played was against Arsenal, obviously. Every team plays well against Arsenal. Wolves quietly going about their business. Jimenez scoring the goals, getting the assists. Jota scoring the goals. Moutinho, one of the best seasons he's had. So in this one, I'm going to go for a 3-0 Wolves win. I can't see Norwich getting anything. They need to do something in the January transfer window. Uh, the sixth game also... Uh, same time kick off with other games is gonna be Aston Villa and Southampton. I'm gonna run through this quickly to make the video shorter. So Aston Villa, I'm gonna go for a two win Aston Villa, two win Villa win. Sorry, uh, cause Southampton haven't been on top form and they play better uh, at home rather than away. And against Aston Villa, Aston Villa have kept their three clean sheets at home this season, so they play better at home. So I'm gonna go for Aston Villa win. The, now, the last game on Saturday, City against Leicester. I've already talked about that one. I'm going to go for Manchester City 2-1 victory against Leicester. Vardy and if Aguero is back, both to score. Uh, Watford against Manchester United on Sunday. Watford haven't been really the Watford that we knew from the past seasons. I don't know if it's the, the, the changing of manager throughout or it's Troy Dini's injury that's, that has affected the team or the defence. I really don't know. Manchester United, Rashford, Martial, Greenwood have been scoring goals after goals recently. I'm expecting Rashford to bag another brace in this one, so I'm going to go for a Manu 3-1 victory. The last game of the weekend is a London derby, Tottenham against Chelsea, sorry. Mourinho derby, Mourinho against his former club. Second time he's meeting his former club already. Uh, lost against Manchester United, but I don't expect him to lose this one. Kane, Ali, Son are scoring goals once again. Sissoko is also scoring goals. So I'm going to go for a Tottenham win. Chelsea have been conceding a lot of goals, especially away from home. So I'm going to go for a 3-2 Tottenham win. Yes, those are my predictions for this weekend. Hope you like this video and uh, remember, subscribe. See you next week.